Good morning, folks. Milk Money back with y'all again today. Um, this is going to be like a two-day video type deal. So um, what happened was I got home yesterday, and I come by to just drop something off at the house real quick, don't shop. And when I did, uh, I noticed that my beehive was starting to swarm. If you don't know what swarming is, that means when the box gets too overcrowded, they um, the queen and will take uh, usually like half the colony or, or something like that, and they'll actually, she'll take off and they'll follow her. Um, sometimes the whole colony will leave, sometimes just half of them. Uh, this time it wasn't even a quarter of the swarm, of, as you'll see in the video that's coming up. Um, I just got done opening the boxes up and uh, I can only get to the top box. Y'all see in the video what I'm talking about. But uh, as I noticed they were swarming yesterday, I called a buddy of mine, um, Whittle. Uh, by the way, um, if you've never watched this other guy, go to uh, the Clack Shack. He does all kind of laser engraving. Uh, he does beehive stuff. He does uh, milling, um, wood milling and all this, uh, CNC stuff. Um, he's got a lot of great videos. He does a Sunday Live and all this stuff. So if y'all have any questions, you can actually talk to him straight, you know, cross computer, whatever you want to say. But um, go check him out. It's the Clack Shack. Me and him have been like real close friends since probably the fourth grade. Uh, and Whittle I've known for the last several, several years. So <clears throat> we're all pretty good friends. But to get back to the story real fast, I end up calling Whittle. Say, hey, my bees are swarming. He said, well, watch them and see where they go. And luckily it wasn't like way up 30 foot in a tree. They actually landed not even 20 foot from the hive and they were probably two foot off the ground, a little brush pile. They were all balled up. So I went to, I called Clack and said, hey, I need to borrow your little bee vacuum. So I run his house, grabbed it, got back over here, what will come over. We dove in and got the swarm. Um, now here's the funny part. I had ordered a new bee box and stuff um, last week. It was supposed to be here this coming week, Tuesday, but it actually came in yesterday while we were catching a swarm. The problem is, is I still had to put the box together, which I didn't have time for. And number two is they had sent me the wrong box. I ordered uh, two 10 frame beehive deals and they sent me eight frame instead. So I was going to use the medium box on top of my existing hive to try to get some honey this year. And then I was going to try to split this hive into a new box so that one deep box would have been fine for that. <clears throat> but like I said, it just hadn't kind of come in a day, you know, day late and, and everything. So like I said, the bees didn't want to wait on it. So they went ahead and swarmed out. So I've got videos of us actually catching a swarm. Uh, I took him to Clack. He has extra boxes at his house, so we ended up putting them in one of his boxes. Uh, hopefully they stay there. And uh, like I said, these bees that I've had, they have went through two winters already. And I mean, you'll see in a video in a minute, they have got tons of honey. Uh, and that was only in the top box. I, had, I didn't even get a chance to go into the bottom box. So we had tons of honey in the top box and a bunch of brood and all that. So... Uh, with your babies in case you didn't know all that. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get to another video, let y'all see what I'm talking about and uh, watch all that. So we'll see y'all in a little bit.
All right, folks. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, appreciate y'all sticking around this long. Um, I'm sorry about not putting more videos out for the last month or so, but I said this whole issue with my health and all had got me down. I'm feeling a lot better now. I'm starting to get my energy back. So um, I've already got plans on making a few more videos. Uh, I need to do one of the new shop, all the bridger pans and everything's out of here. So I'm gonna show you all that later. Uh, you see the workbench behind me. I've got it all set up so I can start making several different things. Um, I'll be doing, still be doing B, uh, B videos, but I've got it to where I can do corn rings, uh, Kydex holsters, woodworking, um, we got wood turning, and just all kind of stuff in here. So um, a little bit of resin and some other stuff too. So, but I'll get back on that later in a uh, different video. But I thank y'all for sticking around. Hope y'all enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you in the next one.